The C300 Mark III represents a big step forward for Canon for the broadcast segment. Before we get into details though, it's always good to explain what we mean by broadcast use, because obviously this isn't for people who want that big shoulder traditional small sensor broadcast camera with that huge range B4 zoom equipped. This is for people who want to use large sensors for programs made for broadcast with a more cinematic feel. TV shows and documentaries like cooking shows, travel shows, real estate programs, you know, that sort of work. Ever since the 5D Mark II and the original C300, that's just been a huge market. But for the last few years, it's one that Sony has been by far the biggest player in, with lots of productions using the FS7, for example. So prior to this camera from Canon, our choices were the C200, which we had no 10-bit support on without using RAW, the C300 Mark II, which was quite physically tall and bulky compared to their newer cameras, plus it had no 4K 60p, the C700, which was very large and at a higher price point than most broadcast camera operators wanted to go for, and then the new C500 Mark II. Now the C500 Mark II does work very well for broadcast use, it's got great codecs, a body design that works better for on the shoulder, a fantastic EVF option, and of course incredibly good image quality, but its full frame sensor is just not ideal, mostly because of the lenses. Now sure, you shouldn't try and replicate the style of lenses that you might be used to from a B4 lens, but people working on these kind of projects really do need that decent zoom range. The Canon CN7 has been a hugely popular option for exactly that reason, as well as their C&E zooms, like the 18 to 80 and the 70 to 200, like this one here. But these are all super 35 millimeter lenses, not full frame ones. The new CN10 from Canon is actually one of the first full frame lenses designed for this kind of use. So there isn't exactly a huge range of choice. In super 35 millimeter, however, there are lots of fantastic options from a variety of manufacturers, both in EF and PL. So the C300 Mark III with its 4K super 35 millimeter sensor and interchangeable lens mounts is perfect for these lenses, which are already the most popular lens options for this kind of work, even when people are using cameras like the Sony FS7. So for lenses, the Canon C300 Mark III is very flexible, whether that's stripped down for a tripod or cradling it handheld with a small stills lens or built up like this one with a decent zoom range. And if you want to use it on the shoulder, adding the V2 extension unit like this one here and the V70 viewfinder really transforms this camera into one that is very nice to have on the shoulder. You'll want to have some kind of base plate though with a shoulder pad just for that bit of extra comfort. It certainly works far better on the shoulder than the original C300 and the C300 Mark II ever did. The recording formats in here are everything that a broadcaster would want. You get 4K in DCI or UHD in 10-bit 422 all-eye or long-op. Decent data rates that are just the right sweet spot size right now to be big enough for great quality, but small enough to not make your workflow and storage difficult. In fact, they're very similar data rates to the options from Sony. For color and gammas, Canon's log formats are very easy to expose and grade. C-Log3 in particular looks great with just a simple contrast and saturation boost in most cases. They also have wide DR mode, which gives you a great looking picture straight out of the camera and is perfect for quick turnaround work. I think this camera has a lot going for it for broadcast work and should definitely be on people's radars if this is the kind of work that you do. For large sensor TV production right now, I think the C300 Mark III is definitely one of the best choices on the market. If you want to order one for your own work, just head over to prov.co.uk or talk to our sales team directly. And of course, if you've got any questions, just let us know. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.